Hello and welcome to part 4 of how to use auto drive. So if you haven't watched the first three episodes I do recommend going to watch them first just because everything uh, is in a certain order and you'll probably be using little bits from each one of them episodes um, as we go forward especially on the next episode. Um, so yeah definitely recommend watching them first prior to watching this. But if you have watched the first three then this one is all about using course play with auto drive. So it's going to be a small video, it's only a small feature, but it's something you should probably know about and it's, it's pretty useful. So, we're going to just quickly drop off this mirror, it's quite big, we don't need it just yet. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up a waypoint to a field, because the whole point of using course plate for me is to obviously to uh, field work so when you set up your course inside your field whereas the auto drive what it's really used for is to do a network of roads getting from A to B that kind of stuff so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a auto drive all the way down to field I think it's 118 which is a grass field so I've linked them together um, so let's get down to I think I can't get rid of that because of this here yeah, there we go so if I just quickly line up with this, and we'll set up a two-way. There we go. We do need a um, course play, so that will keep popping up. We could change the control, but it doesn't matter for this for this episode. Um, we're only going to set up a waypoint in the field, just below field one, on the other side of the uh, railway line. So it's just down here. So what I'm going to do now, when I get to this point here, I'm going to stop recording because I don't want it to be two way, I just want it to be normal one way for this turn. I'm going to make it wide just because you never know what will be on the back. So open the gate, obviously need the gate opening, right so I've opened the gate carry on recording we're in field 118 I'm going to just do a nice little loop into this field I think that's a good spot for a waypoint so we'll call that field 118 there we go and then all I'm going to do is just drive back out and then what I want to do as well is link back up To this waypoint here the two-way and then everything is pretty much sorted for us so if we just link them there we go okay so what I'm technically going to show you how to do now is I'm going to show you how to set up um, the tractor to go all the way to a field and automatically start a course so it'll drive itself to the field and it'll automatically start a course uh, through course play without you having to do absolutely anything except first set it off uh, from this point here which is going to be my starting point so as soon as you've technically hooked up to the um, mower for example or any piece of kit that you're using um, this is all you can do you can you can pretty much just set him going on his way and he'll do the whole field and you won't have to mess about or go back to the field at all so to do that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a course play generation in the field we want to do so we've opened course play do it like you normally would field 118 that's the one we want two headland passes for me to working with that should be fine for us um, and then it's generated the course we're going to save that save it as field 118 four meter no that'll do me um, and then what we want to do is make sure we have it loaded like we have done instead of having nearest waypoint we want to make sure we have first waypoint the reason for that is if we get into that field uh, auto drive will automatically set the course play active so start it up and then it will basically start from the, the the nearest waypoint if you've got that or the current waypoint so it's always better to set that to first waypoint so now that you've done that you want to open auto drive and then what you want to do is just set it to drive mode which is there you want to tell it that we're going to field 118 and then we want to turn it off, yeah, you need to make sure it's not in editing mode 
and you'll see this button here which is the course play symbol so it says at the top right if you see start CP so start course, uh, course play um, and, and it looks like it's saying AIVE at destination which to me basically means just activate at the destination so we need to make sure that we press that and it'll, you'll see it goes from greyed out to colour and then all we need to do is set it going it's that simple so we've done our course play generation we've obviously done our auto, auto drive to field 118 We should probably tell it to calm down on the corners here. He's having a bit of a, a moment. So let's just tell him to slow down. There we go. So now he shouldn't go as crazy. There we go. Couldn't move my camera, but we're here now. So it's got to field 118. Hopefully it'll make that corner. It is quite wide, that is, at the back. Just about. Just about. So it's now doing its loop around here there's a the, the waypoint that we set up so field 118 and as soon as it hits that waypoint as it's done now it's reached it as you can see it started the course in course play automatically started it we didn't do absolutely anything and now all it's doing is starting mowing so it's a bit of obviously a strange mower it's kind of trying to hit that hill so obviously it works an absolute treat it's pretty cool say if you want to have like a realistic worker that's going to do some work for you all you have to do Tell him where you want him to go, make sure you set up your waypoints, use some course play as well with auto-drive, and then he'll go and do the whole thing for you, and you can crack on with something else. So hopefully you found this video useful, hopefully you've liked it, just a short one. The next one we'll go into is probably going to be a little bit more in-depth, uh, probably the main reason I use uh, auto-drive, um, I do find it pretty cool, pretty useful, and if you get it working, it works really well, um, and it's I think it's where auto-drive pretty much shines the most. So. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on Farming Simulator. See ya.